Today's Bible study is titled How Saved Are You? If you've understood the gospel of grace and God's offer of salvation thereby, believed in Christ's death, burial and resurrection, having dealt with all sins, and trusted it was for you, then by grace through faith you have been saved, but how saved are you? There are a couple of verses that definitively answer this question. That we should be to the praise of His glory, who first trusted in Christ. In whom ye also trusted, after that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that you believed, you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession, unto the praise of His glory. Ephesians 1 verses 12 to 14 To understand these verses is to understand both how to be saved and how secure your salvation is thereafter. Let's break it down. First, you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation which is clearly defined in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 1 and 3 to 4. Next, something incredible happened. In the process of your hearing the word of truth and believing the gospel of your salvation, the Holy Spirit baptized you into union with Christ, placing you in the new creature, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17, the body of Christ, and God literally sealed and indwelt you with that Holy Spirit of promise. If you understand the Holy Trinity of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, you know you are literally sealed with God the Holy Spirit by God the Father. But it doesn't stop there, for God had a clear purpose when He sealed you with His Spirit which was that Holy Spirit became the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession, unto the praise of His glory. Now I have to pause, because some of you may not know what an earnest is it is literally a payment made that says God will fulfill the deal. And if there could possibly be some way that he didn't fulfill on his accepted offer of salvation, literally his earnest, the Holy Spirit would be forfeit, and that just is not happening. Do you understand what this means? Think about it. It literally means that, as a believer of the gospel, you were sealed with his Holy Spirit. It literally means that, at your belief, that same Holy Spirit became God's earnest of those whom he purchased redeemed and sealed. As a result, believers can never lose our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession. Don't miss this, he saved, sealed, and redeemed believers unto the praise of his glory, his ultimate purpose. Believer, know that God has saved you to the uttermost and nothing can change that. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.